Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for quarter one of 2024. We're just going to jump right in here, Leo, and do a Celtic cross and see what comes up for you. You have the Six of Swords as your current general energies, and the Six of Swords, of course, can represent <laughs> moving on a calmer shore, so that's nice. Uh, I feel that you could be moving towards bigger and better things or just, uh, you know, feeling like you're kind of catching a break, so... Uh, I definitely like to see that for you. Um, you know, I think there are a lot of improvements as well. You know, I always look at the card, the Six of Swords, as a card of improvements because you are moving on from uh, choppy waters to calmer shores. And, you know, it looks to me like you could be moving on to bigger and better things, things that are going to improve your life more or, um, you know, things that are going to uh, lead to more fulfillment. And I kind of get that feeling here from this reading. So uh, you start off here, I'm going to do the Oracle cards first here, but uh, you start off in this first row uh, with this Solitude card. It says, retreating into your private world to find answers, achieving great things will be hard and come with some lonely episodes. I feel like that's what you've been experiencing for, you know, since, I don't know, 2008, something like that. You have this uh, sharing card. It says, giving back and sharing your gifts with others. You have a key role in changing the world with your gifts and your talents. There you go. Uh, so again, you start with the Six of Swords. I do feel that you've been on this kind of like long, bumpy road. And, um, oh, I just noticed this. You have this card here that says you're stepping into a brand new chapter. You have the Ace of Wands, which is out with the old and with the new. Definitely a brand new chapter for Leo is what's going on here. Pretty simple reading. I think that your hard work is paying off, That you know, all the th things that you've been through, the things that you've done. And now you're ready to move on to, you know, bigger and better things or just improvements in general with the Six of Swords. You have the Ace of Pentacles as your crossing energy. And uh, the crossing energy can be what hurts you or helps you. And I feel pretty good about this. So I would say that it's really just helping you. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles is an energy of nurturing something into existence. We still have Uranus and Taurus, at least. Uh, you know, Jupiter as well, depending on when you're watching this. But um, you know what I would say is that with all that Taurian energy, even after uh, Jupiter leaves, the, I don't care. I would still be working very hard to nurture the things that you care about. Um, you know, with that Taurus energy, the more you nurture something, like I just like to tell people that, you know, just think of everything you work on as a garden. You know, if you have a garden, you have to water it, feed it, fertilize it, give it sun and all that other stuff. So, you know, that's what I would do with anything that you care about. And as long as you do that, you will be successful with the Ace of Pentacles. So, you know, there you go. In the area of what's on your mind, you have the Two of Cups. So some of you could definitely be thinking about love. And uh, if you don't already, some of you could be getting married. So if, if you have love, you could you could just be getting married to the person you're with right now. If you don't have love, I do feel you are going to be meeting a person. I feel like this person is different than your usual type, which everybody gets, uh, you know, back, I, back in 2020, I think it was, or I can't remember if it was 2020 or like 2021. I don't remember which year it was, but I did love readings like one time. And... Um, in those love readings, everybody got the two of cups. And I was like, oh, you know, clearly we're in a time where we could be attracting someone who's different than our usual type, which is probably a good thing because when you have a type, you attract a person. It's like things always go the same way, right? So, um, you know, I, I think that attracting someone who's different is better. This also showing up in the area of your mind, though, I would say that the two of cups can represent you and your higher self and you communicating more with your higher self. It looks to me like the, your higher self going this way is trying to get your attention on something that could be a new opportunity or um, like a new path, right? The temperance card is about mixing two things together. You have the two of cups there, you know, two cups mixing together. You know, it's almost as if you could be mixing like two of your skills together, or maybe you have two ideas in your head of a direction you want to move in in your life. Or maybe there's, um, you know, even like, I mean, what's even popping into my head is like, maybe you want to move somewhere, but there could be like another place that's like a mixture of two places that where you want to live. I don't really have any good examples, but <laughs> you know, it's like, that's what's popping into my head is that there could be like a mixture of two places. So uh, again, just something to think about. In the area of your foundation, you have the four of wands. I love fours and foundation in the foundation of a Celtic cross. To me, it just says you have a solid foundation. Uh, fours literally represent foundations. But I also do feel marriage here. So if you are with a person now, you could be marrying them. If you are meeting a person this year, you could be it could be the person you marry. I'm not saying you're gonna get married this year, but you know, definitely could be a person you marry in the future. Uh, I do feel I definitely feel love for a lot of you. So a new there's definitely a new person that's coming in for you, again, for those of you that want love. Uh, I also feel that your life is about to become more free. Um, so if you have been feeling like you're stuck or like you're just doing the same thing day in, day out, 
kind of more of that Groundhog's Day type of feeling. I feel like you could be getting unstuck here. Uh, in the area of your past, this is the energy of what you're moving past. You have the King of Swords. King of Swords, a card of, of discernment, being able to tell what's right or wrong, card of knowledge and wisdom as well. So I, but the weird thing is, I don't really feel like this is what you're moving past. I feel like this is a person <laughs> that, that's coming in for you. So number one, if you want love, this could be like a mature person. Maybe you know this person. I don't think, I don't think you've ever dated this person. I think you, maybe you just know this person uh, or you've met this person before. And so that, you know, this could be love. I also feel that this could be a mentor or someone who is like really, really helpful um, to like your business, specifically with that Ace of Pentacles showing up here, but also could be helpful to just a brand new chapter. I feel like you've never, you know, it's kind of weird because what's popping into my head is that there's a person in your life where uh, you, you probably know who this person is, but I feel like this year, this person is going to blow your mind. <laughs> like, but I mean this in a good way. Like maybe it's with their advice or their guidance. It's like, you ever know one of those people where you just don't think, like not in a bad way. I don't mean this like in a criticizing way or, in it or whatever, but it's like you have a person, you, you see them one way, you don't, you just don't think that they know very much or whatever. And then they blow your mind at some point. Like I get that feeling here where it's like, you know a person, or you have a person that will be in your life this year. Uh, it seems like they play an important role. Could be like a person you work with, could be a family member as well, I'm getting. And I feel like you just never, like they're sharing wisdom or something with you where you're like, where the hell did that even come from? <laughs> so again, if you have one of those moments, pay attention to it. I, I feel that partially it is like your the universe or your higher self is kind of guiding this person in your life. So pay attention. You you always get this card with me. You have this feeling the world card. I swear I swear every single time I use this deck, you get this card. So that's crazy. Um, you have this divine matrix card. I do feel like you're seeing how everything is connected and I feel like you're seeing how um, things are going to work out for you and how things can work out for you in your life. I would definitely be careful of the feelings of the world. Like, you know, there's going to be a lot of craziness between now and 2033. I talk about it all the time. And I, as I always say, it's not that I would like ignore, I don't think we have to ignore these things, but I would just say like, how much can you control the things that you're worrying about? And I think we're in a time of building and not breaking. So I think we need to build better, bigger, better ideas. And someone tried to cancel me for saying this on Twitter for whatever freaking reason, right? When I never said anything, but <laughs> whatever. Um, like, how dare you say that you want to make the world a better place, right? But uh, what I would say here is that I think that's what we need to focus on is making the world a better place. So, you know, I would focus on, you know, building just better ideas, better things in the world. And, you know, there you go. Uh, in the area of your very near future, you have this temperance card. It, I want to see what this next card is as well. Uh, you have that brand new chapter card and you have this, and I'm going to read this other card too, but I just wanted to see what it said. And it says something about mistakes. And so temperance can be trying to turn one thing into another. Obviously, when you're doing that, when you're going through a, a process of transmutation or alchemy, which this card represents, you have to turn, you are trying to turn one thing into another, but you will make mistakes, you know? And so I feel for a lot of you, this is encouraging you to learn from your mistakes. I knew that there was some connection to this card for whatever reason. It says you're going to make mistakes and it's okay. Sometimes you learn by messing up. So there you go. Some of the best things in the world were mistakes, uh, chocolate chip cookies, super glue. Uh, those are like two that I can think of off the top of my head. And you have this card that says you're stepping into a brand new chapter. Really, I think that the energy of the reading is you stepping into a brand new chapter. One that's going to be uh, much more abundant, it looks like, with that uh, two aces, ace of pentacles, ace of wands. I also get with the ace of wands that you're feeling more creative. Like you are feeling like you have creative freedom over your life. Like things are not Groundhog's Day. You can, if you want to go on vacation, you can go on vacation. And that's what I mean by creative freedom in your life. If you want to, uh, you know, take the day off, you can take the day off. It seems like you have more freedom to make those choices. Uh, next, over the next few months, you have the King of Wands. Love it. I mean, basically, we could say, you know, I look at the King of Wands as Aries, but we could just say that it's you. And, um, you know, I feel that a lot of you are just showing up in a strong position here and you're just making choices. So I feel like you're showing up. I just really feel nothing. <laughs> I feel I feel this is just you showing up in the reading over the next few months. In the area of your closest relationships, you have the Page Wands. Yeah, I would encourage you to explore, be more playful in relationships. You know, again, if you want love, I would definitely... Uh, start looking for it. You know, I do think, yes, you are going to have to look for it. Love doesn't just magically appear in your life. So I would go out and get it or date people or something because it looks to me like you could be finding something really great. Uh, also, I, you know, this is this area of the reading. It, it doesn't have to be love relationships. This could just be your close relationships. So you could be finding yourself being more social, having more fun, things like that. You know, it is a card of socializing. 
Uh, in the area of how your future feelings, you have the Ace of Wands. Yeah, very passionate, typical Leo, right? <laughs> so I feel like you're feeling passionate about the future. I feel like you're feeling passionate about uh, the new directions that you could be taking in your life. I also feel like you're ready for the new. Um, you know, again, Ace of Wands is out with the old and with the new. The thing with the Ace of Wands is that we need to follow our inspirations uh, with the Ace of Wands. We, uh, you know, to me, the Ace of Wands is my favorite card in the tarot. People always say, why why is an Ace your favorite card in the tarot? And I always say, because like Ace of Wands is just that one thing we need to get motivated. It's like that spark of life, that initial, the root going down into the soil from the seed. It is that one thing we need to motivate us to improve our lives or to make something better. So, you know, I've, it's almost like you are getting that spark this year where you, it, I feel this quarter, the first quarter, like you could be getting a, having a good idea, making a change in your business or career. A, a lot of this does look financial to me, but you have a good mixture of both love and finances here. So, you know, whatever it is that you want, it could just be a brand new chapter, which doesn't have to be anything. <laughs> you could be retired and moving. That could be a brand new chapter. You could be retiring this year. That could be a brand new chapter. So whatever it is, you know, it's like you're off to a good start is kind of what I feel like this is saying. Uh, in the area of your outcome, you have the Eight of Swords. It's funny because I just did a reading with Chris from Serious Joy and I was saying that you always get the Eight of Swords with me and here you go. Eight of Swords is self-imposed restriction. I feel like you need you just need to realize that there's a million ways to do anything that you want to do. You just have to open up to those ideas. You have this romance card. It says, love is set to sizzle. The chance for romance is high. Uh, literally, this is what we were talking about for those seeking connection. You have this perseverance card. It says you may feel like you're getting nowhere. Groundhog's Day. We talked about this, but there are wonderful changes ahead. Don't give up. Yes. Keep pushing forward for sure. Uh, I like where this is going for you, Leo. I feel like that it feels uncomfortable because you're stepping into the unknown. I feel for a lot of you, you're ending a long cycle where things have been the same for too long. Again, Groundhog's Day, even though it can be frustrating, uh, can be one of those things where we it becomes a comfort zone. And, you know, we kind of get comfortable with things being the same. But, you know, I think you're making changes. Yes, with the Six of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles, you have the Magician. You are clearly reinventing yourself. Uh, the Magician is a card of reinvention. The Magician has a snake eating its own tail, which is the Ouroboros, and it just represents reinventing yourself. So a lot of you could be reinventing yourselves. I also feel like you are attracting just new opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles. So, uh, you know, if you want a new job, a new business, if you're hoping to start something new, you know, clearly this reading looks amazing for that. I also feel like you could be attracting love. Uh, with the Two of Cups, you have the Hermit. Yes, you have to get out of the house if you want to find love. <laughs> so I would get out there here, Leo. I would get out in public. I would try to meet new people. There's clearly a lot of lo abundance in love coming in for you, but I feel like you have to shine your inner light. You know, the Hermit has learned a lot of lessons. And the whole point of the Hermit is that he's got that star stuck in his lantern, but he needs to shine that star out all over the place. He needs to shine his inner light. That's what you. I feel like you need to do here. Uh, with the Four of Wands, you have the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is a card of mastering a craft. You know, I do feel, again, maybe you've been doing something for 20 years of your life, and now you're kind of like mastering it, but it, it's it's almost as if you're taking it to an, a whole other level. And the weird thing that pops into my head for you, Leo, is I feel like some of you, it's almost like this sense of loss or feeling that you're losing something, but I feel like you're about to gain something much bigger than you think. And I'm not trying to be clickbaity here. What I'm saying is it's like, maybe you feel like you are losing your job, or maybe you feel, maybe your your the company you work for looks like it's going under, or isn't going to be around. But I think what you need to do is like add up all your experience, add up all, all the things you've learned since you've been there and realize how valuable it's going to make you to the next thing. It's like, there's some, like, it, it's almost like in your head, I see you looking at it the bad way <laughs> instead of looking at it the abundant way like there's something so much better coming in for you is what I'm trying to get at but it's because of your experience it's because of the things that you've created and built already with the king of swords you have the star this is definitely going to be someone you're going to want to pay attention to like I said if you have a mentor or a guide or someone you look up to in your life could be a parent it could be any gender by the way it doesn't have to be a king um, you know I feel like there's a person who can really or is going to bring you a lot of good advice. Could be an Aquarius as well, but, um, you know, sorry about that. <laughs> I did not want that to happen. I hit my phone with my pinky and it and it landed on an Instagram reel. So there you go. But uh, what I would say is I feel like you need to follow inspiration. We see a lot of inspiration here. The star is a card of inspiration. The hermit, he has a star inside his lantern. He needs to blast his light all over the place. And you have the ace of wands as well. And you could even say that the page of wands is following his inspiration. So let inspiration be your guide into this brand new chapter. 
with the Temperance card, you have the Nine of Swords. Yes, Groundhog's Day, literally. Uh, Nine of Swords is a never-ending nightmare. It's it's having a nightmare, waking up, being stuck in a nightmare, and then doing it all over again. So I feel for a lot of you that you are trying to end some sort of nightmare or challenge in your life or a cycle, and you're trying to move on to something that's bigger and better in your life as well. And that's what I feel like is going on here, plain and simple. With the King of Wands, you have the Ten of Swords. This is like the death to the old you. I, you are transforming in a big way. And um, you know I think this is true for all fire signs, but I definitely feel it's extra true for you uh, that you are definitely gonna be one of the signs that's go undergoing a trans transition, transformation, like a butterfly moment, caterpillar to butterfly, right? Magician, temperance, both cards of transformation and turning yourself into something. So I kind of feel this is the death of the old you, this 10 of swords, and it's like you're rising to something better. I actually like where this is going. I feel like you're scared. <laughs> I'm not calling you out here, Leo, right? I, like I feel that you're. there's a little part of you that's saying that you're done is what I'm hearing in my head. I don't know, take that how it resonates. Like maybe you think you're done growing or you think that you're um, done as far as love is concerned or whatever it is that's important to you. But really, I feel this is like a brand new beginning, something much better. But the page of wands, you have the fool. Yes, are like, are you kidding me? In the major arcana, we go from the fool to the world. Then we start all over again as a fool. It's like you are, I wouldn't say you're starting over, but you do have a lot of cards that represent that. Uh, the brand new chapter card, the, the um, six of swords, the page of wands, the four of wands even is a portal card. You have to complete one thing to step through that portal on the four of wands so that you can have a celebration on the other side. So, you know, there you go. Ace of wands as well. But I definitely feel it's time to take a leap of faith in new directions. Um, you know, I see you experimenting a lot this year as well, which is good. Um, I'm a big fan of experimentation right now. Uh, we're in a time of innovation. So anything you can do to try something new, <laughs> I know that sounds simple and it is just that simple, I would, but I would be doing something simple. I would be trying something new that is simple and creating new simple things in your life. That's gonna lead to the most success. Uh, with the Ace of Wands, you have the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is amazing. Definitely building, leaving a legacy. It is probably the security that you've been searching for for a long time is what I'm getting here, Leo. So I really, I kind of feel there's a certain level of security. Like let's say that you want a um, emotionally secure and loving family and also you want a partner who makes enough money to support that, which, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Totally understand, right? Or maybe you want to be the person that makes enough money to support that, whatever, take it how it resonates. You know, it looks to me like you could be getting something like that, like a family, or if you don't want family, that's fine too. You could just be building a business or something else long-term that supports you. And, you know, that's really the feeling I get here. So really nice. With the Eight of Swords, you have the lovers. Yes, are you kidding? Definitely a very strong love connection coming in for you. I would open up. Uh, I do feel like you need to open up a little bit here. I feel like there's something you already know. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Uh, some of you, if like if you have had your eye on a person or something, it's like you already know that this is gonna happen. So, you know, there you go. I do feel there could be a little bit of a blockage here. It's kind of weird as well that... You know, I'm wondering if you're meeting a person who's also having a new beginning. Uh, you like it, this is very specific, but you could be meeting a person, for example, who maybe they just moved to where you live. You know, or you could be part of the challenge I see here is you could be meeting a person who is moving. Obviously, that could be a problem if you are if you live in a, a place and they're moving away, right? But I kind of do feel that you could be meeting a person who is also in a transition period, like they're going through some big changes in their life as well. And, um, you know, I, I kind of feel really it could work out no matter what, even if they're moving like cross country or something like that. It's like, maybe you move with them, right? <laughs> or uh, maybe you are going to move with them. And so, you know, it definitely looks like a powerful change at this time because of, you know, so, a bunch of stuff going on. Uh, we're going to pull five main themes with the Oracle of the Radiant Sun. You have this exaltation card. The It's like the universe is on your side is what I feel like you need to understand. The universe wants to bless you as well. And I feel there are blessings coming in for you with this card. Uh, you have this influence card. Um, you also have this lost card, which wanted to kind of pop out there. I don't know if you could see that on the table, but uh, I pulled this. I pulled the influence card and this card kind of flew out. Uh, the lost card is Saturn and Pisces. We have Saturn and Pisces right now. I do feel like some of you need to be careful of like external influences on your relationships, which is definitely something I'd be careful of at, at this time. So like if you have people that are hating on your relationship, I would be careful of that. Um, uh, this could have also ruined a past relationship where you with, were with a person, uh, past people, like, you know, other people got involved and that ruined it. And I would be careful of that just in general. Uh, let's see. Uh, you have this manipulation card. This is actually a good card. This is a card of manipulating the energy uh, to your benefit. So definitely would be a good time to use your powers of manifestation or whatever you believe in, right? Um, you know, even if it's hard work, I would be doing it. So there you go. It's also kind of like the, the magician, that card. 
Uh, it's as above, so below. You have this optimism card. So many reasons for you to be optimistic. The whole entire reading screams optimism. Six of Swords, optimistic for a brand new chapter. The brand new chapter card, the star card, the Ace of Wands. You know, there's like the Page of Wands is the card of optimism and enthusiasm. So, you know, there's like so much stuff here that's saying you should, you have every right and should be optimistic about your future. And you have this control card. It's actually a good card as well. This is like the world card. It even looks like the world card. So a lot of you could be achieving new heights and you know I feel that there are good things coming in for you. I also feel like you're letting go of control with the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is the part of Leo that says things have to work this way, <laughs> right? Things have can only go the way that I have it planned out in my head. And so what I feel here is that the control card is you actually letting go of control and saying I'm allowing things to work out in the best way possible, which would be a good idea. So this looks pretty, pretty good here, Leo. I love where this is going. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your quarter.